me and Renee, I'm back. Um, as you can see from the title, this is another look into the life of how it is to work in a bookstore. So I have a few of these other videos already up, so yeah, this is another one in this series. So you don't really have to see them all, but yeah. And yeah, in case you're new there, hey, I'm Renee, and I work in a bookstore. I, I don't have a full-time job, sadly, but I work, I've been working in it um, once a week and then uh, more um, and then more shifts every now and then. So I have some insights and some interesting stories to tell. Uh, so yeah, um, I've seen some uh, other people do kind of like videos like this, so I got kind of inspired by that and I started doing them every now and then and yeah. Um, no, I'm not quite sure. I think I've talked a bit about the first issue here, uh, but I'm going to talk about it anyway, because it's an interesting thing. Uh, and yeah, some of these are kind of like general things, and some of these are kind of more like anecdotal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, first I kind of want to talk about how some people still kind of think that there's kind of girl products and boy products, which really in today's world i suppose i could i could maybe understand it if you're in the middle of nowhere hoo-ha texas because i don't know i have this idea that in texas girls should they have this idea that girls should always wear dresses in church and boys should just be tough and manly well, like that I probably i mean maybe texas is a bit more um more mature than that but that's kind of like an idea i have of Texas, and I suppose, yeah, some places in the world, they kind of still, like, have this very much, like, idea that it should be like this and this. But, like, in no way, I feel like, in a way, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of Norwegians, I feel like, because, in case you do not know, I'm Norwegian, I live in Norway, I do videos in English, because that's what most people talk, but I am Norwegian. Uh, but, yeah, I feel like, here in Norway, I feel like most people... Or a lot of it, like, at least a lot of people like that I talk to and that I kind of meet, that I, that I kind of talk to, I suppose, uh, outside of work, like outside of customers. I would say, yeah, a lot of them are kind of mature and I suppose in a way uh, modern. And I kind of think that uh, boys can do girl stuff like reading and jigsaw puzzles. And girls can do boy stuff like uh, sports or like... Anyway, like that, we do we don't really talk too much about boy and girl stuff anymore. It's kind of just stuff like nowadays. I would say it's much more of an idea of like you do you. Like if you like something, you can enjoy it. It's not really as much like you have to do this if you're inside this box of gender, and you have to do this this if you're inside this box of gender. It's more like you do what you want to do. Uh, but still, there's uh, as I said, there's still going to be some people who who uh, make me react and um, do stuff. Uh, I suppose with this kind of idea, uh, with this kind of like general idea, I actually have two examples, uh, so two anecdotes. I'm going to go with the most recent one uh, uh, right now because it's kind of one that, I suppose it's the most recent one. I suppose they say the most and the most, it doesn't, but I suppose, yeah, it's the most recent one, so I'm going to talk about that one first. Uh, so yeah, yeah, here in Norway, I'm not really sure if it's like very common all over the world, but at least in Norway, uh, because uh, a lot of Norway Norwegians are Christians, and it's kind of like, I suppose it's kind of now it's much more about our culture than like, it's because it's something that everyone does, not just the hardcore religious people. Uh, but a lot of us uh, get confirmated at like 15, so like there's this kind of idea now within uh, Christianity within. Uh, Protestantism, you know, Martin, Luther Martin Lutherism, where when you're 15, you're gonna, like, um, you're gonna remember some Bible verses and you're gonna, like, have a whole ceremony, like, that kind of means that you're an adult now. And, like, before there was just kind of this version of it where, like, and this was, like, very, very, like, it was very um, tied to the idea of, like, Christianity, like, it started at, at that way. and. Now you can you can also get confirmated um, as uh, as like kind of atheist. So like the 
the atheist society also have like a version of this ceremony so like the idea is still like that you're an adult but it's kind of more like a i suppose more like a yeah atheist way, way of it uh but yeah uh so because of this a lot of Norwegians do this the one or the other way uh so because of this people buy cards confirmation cards like pack the confirmation uh, because of course whenever something is a big deal you have cards with it and um and yeah a lot of people get confirmated in the spring though some will do it in like the fall but mostly it's in the spring and so we've been the beginning the store has beginning to has begun to sell confirmation cards and um it happens not all the time but i would say often enough that people come in up to me and like have two cards and they ask like which of these would work sorry they ask which of these would work for a 15 year old boy oh i suppose they can also like do the other uh question of like which one which one of these would you buy for a girl and uh what i often do i often kind of say well i kind of like them both and i suppose you kind of know the person the best so you would know what they would like the best i mean you kind of have to be polite and good that way when we work with customers and customers service or customer jobs but inside i'm thinking really really so you're thinking that if a 15 year old girl called mia gets a card where it says where, where like because the text is more or less always like very very like general it's like i suppose some cards have like happy birthday uh, no happy happy confirmation boy and then it says something about boys but some of them are quite like neutral it's just more like happy confirmation and then there's a picture of a car or like something like that and like so really you think that if a 15 year old gets a card with a picture of a car she'll get what sad offended mad at you i mean for one there are quite a lot of girls as i said that like cars that kind of like to yeah uh do have uh, uh make like like to like cards in general they like to uh, play with cards what with cards with cars whatnot uh but b even if you don't are not that much into cars but the, the card confirmation card is not the big thing on the day it's not like you're gonna get a card and think oh my god this card is so ugly or like maybe maybe you get a card you don't like you don't think about it for years to come or i suppose also like in the case that you for some reason go around thinking about that thing for years to come honestly go to see a therapist because that's not something you should go around thinking about for years then it's something seriously wrong with you so just like and also i suppose the other way around like if you're looking at like cards with i suppose also if it's kind of general if it's a if it's a birthday card and uh and there's some birthday some cards with flowers on them and you're thinking mm, maybe but it's for a boy do boys like flowers it's like so it's flowers just for girls men can't like flowers at all is it like i have the question that they should like flowers and also if they don't like flowers they're not gonna be that mad about it they shouldn't be not that mad about it so, yeah it, it annoys me so much that cards for one it doesn't matter that much and for for a second if it matters it really shouldn't matter it should not matter that's also also like you know, one thing one thing about it uh and i'm gonna move on to something else but yeah uh so i don't know like how it's like the bookstores that you guys frequent but at least the bookstore where i work in we have more or less uh, well we have half a wall with the cards and then we have two or three kind of cards um card displays so yeah we have quite a lot of cards and yes people come in they like ask well if you have some cards i show them the wall and then you also have there there and there and then you look you look look for comments and then so go and i'm like no i didn't find anything and i'm like you didn't find anything anything we have quite a lot of cards 
And I'm kind of thinking also, I think some like some person will also like say like, oh, I need something right now, but right now, like the birthday is today. But I didn't find anything. I'm like, firstly, if the birthday is today, plan better. Buy a birthday card before the day. And secondly, if the person that you're getting 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 a card for is that picnic picky, make it your own or plan better. Like go to lots of bookstores days before, or or you can even like make your own card if you really like you want something special and personal. If not, yeah, uh, we have a good selection. So please use the selection we have. I uh, I don't I don't understand it. No. Uh, also, I suppose. Going a bit back now, but yeah, to the whole like gendered uh, thing. Now this isn't about gendered products; it's more about books. But um, this has happened now and then when people come into bookstores and the bookstores, my bookstore, and they ask, "Do you have something for a twelve-year-old girl or twelve-year-old boy?" And I might like talk about this and this and this book, and then they sometimes they say like, "Well, isn't that?" Isn't that book more of a boy's book? And that that person was asking for something for a twelve year old girl, and I'm like, and I say, what I was saying is like, well, girls tend to like this series as well. What I'm thinking is like, what? So you think that all girls only like romance books? That they don't like like crime stories or mystery stories or whatnot? Girls like to go on adventures as well. And I suppose also like the other way around, like. Boys don't always have to like crime. Maybe some boys like books that have a more human race. I could have been the dog, um, not the dog walker, but like the dog, the dog man. Quite a uh, very uh, popular uh, cartoon. And that's a cartoon that's mostly human, human based. Sometimes humor is what you want. Not all boys want adventure. Some of them just want to laugh without an adventure. So, yeah. Come on, people. Come on. So yeah, uh, that just kind of. I mean, people, please, please. Also, in a moment. Uh, I can also feel like sometimes can actually also be an issue for like adult books where people come in and then like when you're gonna when they might ask you like, do you have a book to recommend? And then I start talking about this historical read that is character based and then there's some romance, but there's also like family mystery and then the guy the person who's asking me is a customer who's a 50 year old male and he's like i i kind of want more crime and that kind of sounds like a woman's book and i say yeah maybe but i can and then i kind of just talk about some crime books what i'm thinking is like really again so you never read a book that's character based, like all character based books are women's books. So you think all women read uh, those kinds of books and kind of that's kind of a woman thingy. Like you can't you can't read books with romance in them at all. Like what? Or you think that uh, no, like because I feel you could also turn it on and said like. Crime books are just for boys or men. The only people who like to read about crime are men in the fifties and forties, or they lo- love to read about spies and mysteries. That's just for boys and men. Um, no, there's quite a lot of girls and women who also love to read crime. So yeah, I don't know. Gendered ideas in general, like thinking that that's a book for boys, that's a book for girls. Or men and women are uh, just like no, 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 no. I don't like it. Not here for it at all. Not at all. And also, like in general, uh, in general, I was about to say something. Uh, blah, blah. Yeah, and then you kind of sometimes we have like this, uh, these kind of weird. Well, yeah, I would say kind of weird, um, genre names like chiclet. That's kind of a thing that's like was more of a thing before but like yeah for a time a lot of books where like their main character was like in her first year she was looking for love but then like it was more like about her like getting a better job as was kind of like Bridget Jones-ish so it's kind of like uh, this woman at the center 
living your life in a city, kind of that style. And that, those kinds of books were often like targeted or like talked about as chick lit, which you more or less never have like men lit. So like there's kind of this derogatory idea like this. This is chick lit. This is just for mindless girls and women. This is not highbrow or not really good uh, reading at all, which yeah, I don't like it at all. I don't like it. But I suppose in a little side note to that, I just read today that uh, right now, um, at least to some sources, uh, uh, the amount of authors that are like bestsellers is 50-50. 50-50 girl, women and men. Like for a long time it was just like men who had like all the big, uh, big selling books, but now quite a lot of, quite a lot of them are women. women. So yeah, gotta love that. Gotta love it. So yeah, uh, that one kind of just gendered products and gendered books irks me so so much. Uh, and then I kind of yeah, some people like do like videos where they talk about just stupid things that happen to them in bookstores or like stupid things that happen to them uh, where I work of course, some people can do videos with this with uh, with other stuff. I kind of often like to like mix it up a bit, so like have both good and bad. So yeah, um, sometimes as well as this kind of is a given, uh, but like if I'm at work and someone comes and asks me, do you have a very funny book or do you have a a very good fantasy read or, uh, yeah, do you have like they ask me something that I know the perfect answer to? Like for example, I might ask like, what would a 12 year old who reads a lot who like who because was some 12 year olds read but they like they read more comics but like if a tw so if someone asks what would you give a 12 year old who reads a lot and like he reads he can read like books with a lot of text he doesn't mind lots of words yes then i quite have the answer for them and yeah i just love like being asked stuff that i uh, am an expert about and i know like for example yeah if someone asks me while working, like what I would, what would recommend for twelve year olds to read a lot, Hideo, I would say Amari and Night Brothers. I would say Arusha. I would say, and then I would maybe ask like, do, you, yeah, have you read, uh, any of uh, Gary P. Jones' books because they also like some of them can quite quick, but yeah, quite quite great, and uh, still, and then there's some Norwegian books I would also recommend. Though as well, some of them are not of like thick thick, but they still. Yeah, it's not like, even though, like, if, if you're 12 year old and you can read a book at, like, 300 pages, doesn't mean that all the books you read should be that, uh, should be that. Like, you can still read books that are shorter. I mean, amazing books comes in all length, uh, lengths and sizes, really. So, yeah. But yeah, I just love it, love it when someone comes into the store and asks me about something that I know something about. And then they, like, I'm, of course, I get enthusiastic and, like, very happy. And then... I can see that they're just kind of like, oh, okay, so you, this, you're very happy about this book. Okay, so, okay, now some, like, I might buy this book because, yeah, if you share enthusiasm, if you share passion, a lot of the time that kind of just spreads and kind of easily, like, doubles and it gives them our um, interest in the book. Often they buy the book, and yeah, I love that so much. Though, on the downside of that, uh, like, for example, like before Christmas, we have quite a lot of people coming in to buy Christmas books or Christmas presents. <gasps> yeah, at least in Norway, a lot, a lot of people buy books as Christmas presents. And then, yeah, then I often get to recommend a lot, like for um, grandparents who want to buy to their grandkids or parents who want to get buy to their kids or like whatever, like kinds of like stuff like that. And um, yeah, so then I often get to like sell lots of PGO books and uh, Persian Jackson books in general and whatnot. Uh, but, and then sometimes also like people come in and they say like, well, my kid, he used to like to read, but he hasn't read lately, so do you have anything of that to like give him or give her back to joy of reading? And then, yeah, uh, still have some ideas for that. PGO, PGO is still also a good um, tip for that, at least from my side, my idea. Uh, but yeah, uh, but those are kind of people who kind of come in just kind of around Christmas. So, it, and then, so like, they kind of seem happy with the shows that they buy, 
but of course I kind of I give them a like a note like in case them in case the person who gets the prison prison gets the person who doesn't like it they can exchange the exchange the book. Uh, but yeah, uh, quite a lot of time, like, I sell a lot of my favorite books before Christmas. But yeah, that's kind of like customers who don't really come in to the store that often. That's not like usual customers. That's not regulars. So often I don't really know if the person um, will, uh, yeah, if the person has uh, gotten the right person. Like, if the person who got the book was happy about it or not. That's kind of sad. Like, I kind of want to know, like, if the, if the person worked, if they really enjoy the book. And I suppose you can say like, well, if they enjoy the book, they can also like come back to buy more books. But yeah, but I suppose sometimes, uh, I mean, there's more than, than my books are in my town. So people like maybe the person who got the book uh, used another bookstore. So it doesn't really go to my bookstores. Like in case if they got a book for Christmas one year and they're like, oh, I love to read. And then they start buying books again. But maybe they don't, don't go to my bookstore, so I suppose I could have this idea that they might still love to read or might have uh, gotten an enthusiasm for reading, but I can't really know for sure because they don't really come to my store. So that's that's a bit sad, but it is what it is. And also kind of similarly, like in the um, spring, in the spring, in summer, someone came to me like asked like, I have fourteen year old. He doesn't really like to read, but. Uh, like I kind of wanted to to read, and then I uh, gave like three uh, book ideas, and they bought all three. And like, uh, and I was kind of enthusiastic and kind of saying like, this is not uh, like this is a funny book, this is a adventurous book, and this is like a book that's uh, thin but also very funny. Yeah, I kind of talked them all about, about up in different ways. And yeah, I kind of thought like, hopefully one of these books will fit for the person who's gonna read it but yeah uh the guy didn't come back so i don't know if maybe i suppose the guy could have i suppose could be several reasons could be one maybe the guy is using the library now and not bookstore maybe he doesn't live close to my bookstore or three maybe the books didn't work but i don't know uh, since i don't really know the customer i can't really know for sure and that's that's a bit sad I kind of want to know stuff like that. I suppose, yeah, sometimes uh, customers come in and like say like, Oh yes, I read the, you recommend this book a few weeks ago. I really liked it. Do you have anything more to recommend or like, do you have anything else to recommend? But sadly, I don't really feel like that happens very often. Not for me at least. So yeah, that's a bit sad. But it is what it is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, one of you. And yeah, kind of, I suppose, in the same vein, uh, this was, was the last year? This year, I think? Last year? Ah, this doesn't really matter, but yeah, a few weeks ago, it was like recent, but yeah, uh, some time ago, uh, a woman in her like 50s came out and came in with her daughter, or did she just talk about her daughter? Yeah, anyway, like, she was going to get um, a book for her daughter, her daughter, her, her daughter was... Uh, 13, 14. She really liked. Uh, she likes to read because she likes. She likes mainly to read series and she likes romance. And uh, so of course I kind of uh, I really recommended the Jenny Han books to all the boys I loved before. Great, sweet uh, romance story, romance trilogy there. But other than that one, I suppose yeah, I could. I also recommended the um, Stephanie Perkins trilogy because that's also a romance and it works for that. Age group, but other than that, because like asked like, what is she she kind of mainly wants series, and they're like yeah mainly series, and I kind of went up with those two and like afterwards and like, hmm, because yeah in general romances aren't usually series, or if they are they might like I suppose you have some romance companion series, but I feel like that's kind of more of a thing in adult romance, but like for fifteen year old or fourteen year old. I suppose, yes, yeah, some 14 year old reads like adult books, but I suppose it depends also on the 14 year old. But often, I wouldn't like, wouldn't recommend an adult book at the get go to a 14 year old, at least. At least now, because A, I feel like there's so many YA books out there, like 
yes, before there weren't so many YA books out on the market, but now they are. So like now you have lots to choose from. And also B, um, sex scenes because that's uh, at least the kind of in my head that's kind of more or less a thing in every romance book of adults. And like are fifteen old sis quite read of read of sex scenes? Maybe they are. Like I suppose I read some when I was like fourteen, but I don't know. Quite many people were ready for them. So yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, so I did I did end up uh, recommending Jenny Han books and Stephen Pilkins books. Um, but yeah, I couldn't really think about any other books. And then I kind of thought like, it's kind of sad because well, I suppose she ended up buying Jenny Han books, that was cool. Uh, but I kind of thought like, okay, so what, when the, this girl, this teenager finished that book, what is she going to do then? Because yeah, for 15 year olds, there aren't really that many romances out there really. I suppose uh I suppose because they asked and she said, said like in Norwegian. So yeah. So you kind of already had that uh, barrier there that it can be books in English. Uh and yeah. For one, like there's not like a, a thousand books published in Norwegian in MIA, sadly. There like you yeah, you have some authors who write like Norwegian authors who write MIA. But I feel like not all of them are like love like love stories some of them are but most of them aren't really and then you have uh and then you have some uh and yeah then you have some books that are translated like jenny hall books and then um stephanie perkins books or whatnot but like also like in general like if you're gonna ask if i'm gonna ask you guys like name like some yes yeah, so i just said ya books that are romance in series that's not really something that you have that often, really. I suppose you could say Princess Diaries, which it's not, I wouldn't say like the romance romance, but there's definitely romance in there. So I suppose it's not not a romance. Like, also, yeah, I suppose how do you define a romance? Do, does the romance have to be the A plot? Can it be the B plot? How important to a plot is it? How much romance does it need to be in there to be called a romance? I don't really know. I suppose it depends on who you ask. Like, if there's like a dictionary definition of romance, not quite sure, but yeah, so that's kind of things that I think about. And um, yeah, so yeah, sadly, so kind of, I end up giving this customer two ideas, but like, yeah, in general, there aren't really that many romance books for teens, at least not Norwegian in series. Not that I can really think about at the top of my head. Maybe there are some, some like older ones, but like, I feel like a kid nowadays wouldn't really enjoy a book that's written in the fifties because that's just kind of outdated, really. And um, yeah. Uh, then, in the moment, could you stop? Where did my notes go? La 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 la. la. My notes has gone away. There. Yeah. Um uh this one, last one, um uh, luckily hasn't happened a lot generally lately, but yeah, you know it still happens now and then, so I'm gonna yeah, it's, it has happened. Uh yeah, it still kinda of more or less happens. Uh so I suppose it's kinda of like three folded, but yeah, only in like three examples. Uh but like the heading here. Stupid customers. Uh, so sometimes we have like uh, sales for like custom like members of the store. Like we have like a member of the chain store like that can get special offers and stuff. And sale for that kind of that target group has like a specific specific marking, so you kind of know that that sale is those people. And there's also like also the posters say like those people like the the members member member sale. And still, yes, people still come in. They have like lots of books they've found, and then I boom, 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 and I say like, yeah, what's your number? Like my number? Yeah, you remember? No, I'm not. Well, then these books are not on sale for you. I mean, the um, the sale uh, uh, rules is everywhere in the whole store, and yet I don't really understand the rules. It's weird. Oh, like sometimes we have like. We have, yeah, it's kind of the same issue, but yeah, we have, there's also always a sale of English pocketbooks for members. 
and there's gonna be well, there's always someone who comes like to the uh, to the counter, gonna buy some books, and I ask like, yeah, what's your number? My number? You don't remember? No? Well, then all these books are at normal prices because it's for members to sale. So yeah, some people don't really can't really read, I suppose, because Usually the rules around sales and stuff are just kind of quite, quite perfectly marketed. Like it's quite perfectly, perfectly, it's, uh, it's like noticed around there so that you should be able to know the rules for this way. It shouldn't be that difficult. But yeah, and I suppose that's kind of it for today's video. End up being half an hour and yeah, nice little nice little amount of video to talk about this amount of video amount nice little nice little nice little pace for this video and yeah um if you have any thoughts on these things i talked about gendered products or if you know fun anecdotes when you maybe you saw something interesting in a bookstore or maybe you work in a bookstore or maybe you just want to say hi maybe you just want to leave a book emoji you can do that as well. And uh, yeah, hope you have a nice weekend. I plan to as well. Well, of course, you always plan to have a nice weekend. But yeah, and I'll see you soon. Bye.